Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a haul and review of the Tutti Dolce collection from Bath & Body Works. I'm going to get into that in a second here, but if you are wondering about this dog behind me and why my couch is in disarray, this is River, and in my video that I just posted, I explain all about her and why she's here. Basically, I adopted her a couple weeks ago, but now I'm currently just fostering her until we find her a better home because I don't know if I'm the best fit for her, but I'm really, really torn apart about it. So if you want to see me ramble on about dogs for 20 minutes and cry, just watch my last video. Um, but here's the haul I promised you. So... First of all, we have an interesting candle sale this weekend, 1350 Three Wick Candles. And, you know, they usually do, or they, I mean, it used to be, back in the back in the good old days, it was like two for 20, you know, you could use a survey coupon, three for 30, 10 off, it was great. Uh, then it was two for 22 for a while. Then we got used to two for 24, and now, more often than that, although you may see that every once in a great while still somewhere, um, I think they slipped in some 2 for 25s for a minute there too. But they started doing like 1 for 12.50 to kind of calm us down for the fact that they're raising the price, you know, but you can only buy one at a time. I don't know. Uh, and then, you know, just very recently, they started raising the list prices on the candles, and a lot of the collections are listed as 24.50 instead of 22.50. People started freaking out about that. I wasn't so upset. I was like, I'm going to wait until we see what the new sale prices will be before I get upset. And for a while, even though they were marked $24.50, some of the collections, some are still marked $22.50, uh, the sales were the same and we still got like a $12.50 each sale. But now it's $13.50. It's better than the $10 off sale that they ran if you want the $24.50 candles because you know, then those were $14.50 and I bought one at that price with a coupon. So, you know, it's not the worst, but now even the ones that are $22.50 are still $13.50 each this weekend. And it feels like they're slowly trying to raise the prices on us without us noticing or getting too mad, you know, they're, they're easing us into the price increases. But, you know, it's like the 2450 candles. It's stupid that they're even marked 2450. This isn't really a deal on those because why are they 2450? I don't know. I mean, prices go up all the time. It's the way of the world. Inflation. But, I don't know. A lot of people are not happy about it. I'm glad I got a lot of them at the last 1250 sale. So, I don't really feel like I need to buy anything uh, this weekend at this sale. But I did check out the Tutti Dolce collection on Thursday. It came out a day early, which was good for me because I had some time yesterday to kill on my lunch break. So went to BBW, and there are four scents in this collection. I did not get any of the Pink Peony Cream, but I did pick up sample creams in all the rest. Um, and I got uh, a Golden Praline and Honey, a White Mocha Kiss, and then the lemon was clearly my favorite, Sweet Lemon Buttercup, because I got the little one, I got the big one, I got the Creamy Body Wash, and I got the Lip Balm. Uh, so I'll talk about all that stuff. I was a little, like, not totally upset, but, like, it's disappointing that I have two of the free travel size uh, item from the Signature Collection coupons, and they're good for anything up to $5, but nothing in this collection comes in $5, because it only comes in the little creams and the body splashes, which are six. And even though I know that the answer is no, I still ask my store again, can I just pay the difference? And the answer is no. So I have no idea what to use those on. Um, there's also, interestingly, no lotion in this collection, which is disappointing for me. Um, they just have the cream. I like to get the creams and the lotions. For me, they work for different purposes. The creams are good for like your hands um, or if you really want like some, you know, heavy moisturizing, but it doesn't last as long. It kind of goes bad after a while. Um, the lotion stays smelling good forever. And I like to use that like after the shower when I'm doing like full coverage or, you know, whole, whole body moisturizing. Um, and I'm, I'm missing the lotion. I am, now that it's not here. But then they did do two forms of wash because they have shower gel and the creamy body wash. So I don't know what the method to their madness is there. Um, they also have fine fragrance mist and, yeah, the lip balms. So I didn't get any shower gel either, though, because I got this. So 
Uh, how I did this was I had the coupon for a making a cream $5 and you could combine that to the 20% coupon it was attached to in the mail. So I got the cream for four bucks. That was a decent deal. The, the other the other purchase I made, not as great of a deal because um, I put all this together and took a 10 off 30. Um, $14.50 for this. Again, that is not a great price. Even with the coupon, I think I ended up paying 10 bucks. But I haven't tried the creamy body wash since like when was it out before? The 90s uh, or early 2000s maybe? I don't remember. Um, it's been a while. The checkout girl who works there said she thought it was totally new. She didn't know they'd ever had it before. She's young, probably in high school. She's like, I've worked here for three years though and I had no idea. I'm like, oh no, they, they definitely used to have this. Uh, but I haven't tried Creamy Body Wash since it came back. So, and I, I really liked how this scent smelled in this form. It smelled better than the shower gel to me. So I wanted to get that. So I put that together with like the three minis for $12.50 so I could try all those scents. Then I needed to spend like three more dollars so I got the ridiculously overpriced lip balm which is actually seven bringing my total to 34 minus 10. Um, not, not the most efficient purchase I've ever made there but I was on a time schedule so I was like I'll just get the stuff and get out. Um, I might get I have the six dollar uh, attached to another 20% mailer coupon um, fine fragrance mist six dollar for fine fragrance mist and I might pick up a fine fragrance mist in the lemon uh, with that coupon but I didn't yet I wanted to try these and see how I feel so we'll get to that in a second let me work my way up to talking more about the lemon scent let me go in order and talk about my least favorite through my most favorite. So the Pink Peony Cream, I really don't have a lot to say about that one uh, because it's the one I didn't purchase. You guys know I'm not a floral person, so I always expect to not really care about the floral one in any given line. Um, I did try it, and it's not like the worst. It's not horrible. Um, it really has, I was surprised, it's not really very floral. There's a little something floral about it. But it smelled a lot like Smarties or Sweet Tarts or some kind of like tart candy like that but then it was the little bit of floral in there that just didn't match with that to me and it came across as kind of weird not awful just I was like I don't feel like I even need to get this in a mini I just really don't care for it that much um I've heard that the repackage of something like papaya something or another from one of the summer collections that I probably just ignored um that's kind of a weird repackage though um but I don't know I can't say too much about that one I can say more about these others. So White Mocha Kiss. Uh, this is indeed a repackage of Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. You guys know I loved Beach Nights. I slowly became obsessed with it. I got a little trial size lotion and then just kind of got more and more and more and more and now I have a ton of it. Um, I really tried to figure out if there was any difference between this and that. I put this all on one arm, I put Beach Nights on the other arm. And it, they did smell a little different to me, but I think it's just because my Beach Nights is older. And like I said, the creams start to go bad after a while. The This, if anything, I always got like a little bit of a graham crackery note from Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow. And I feel like that graham cracker note is stronger in this. And I feel like this is stronger in general, whereas the Beach Nights would smell a little cleaner and fresher on that arm when I had it on both. That could all just be because this is newer, though, or it could be just subtle batch variation, new year, new batch. Maybe it's a little different, but it's basically the same scent. So if you liked Beach Nights, you'll like this. If you didn't, you won't. I'm just surprised, though, with the name. White Mocha Kiss. And when I read the notes on this, there's a little bit of coconut mentioned as well as marshmallow. I really thought... I would have thought based on the description that it was a repackage of Wrapped in Sugar from this winter with the Champagne Toast and that collection because Wrapped in Sugar really kind of smells like white chocolate to me at first that it's really smooth and then it like turns into coconut and there's a lot of coconut on the dry down and based on the description I really think Wrapped in Sugar would do well uh, if it was called White Mocha Kiss whereas the name here White Mocha Kiss on Beach Night Summer Marshmallow does not makes sense to me. This doesn't smell at all like mocha to me. It doesn't smell like white chocolate. It just kind of smells like maybe marshmallow and graham cracker. So I just don't think the name really fits it, but I don't mind having another little guy because I like it and it matches my nails. Um, but I won't be buying any more because I have tons of beach nights. So that's that one. Next, I'll talk about Golden Honey Praline. I kind of like this one. It's pretty good. It's just not... It doesn't stand out that much. Um, 
I don't know if this is a repackage of anything else. I don't remember what other people have said. It's not ringing a bell for me of anything else exactly. But it does smell like the name, unlike White Mocha Kiss. It's very sweet. Definitely get honey. And I definitely get like a little bit of like a praline pecan type of caramely scent. Um, it does remind me of the praline pecan cobbler candle, honestly. If you like that candle. It's not as strong as that. It's kind of subtly sweet. So I really like it at first. It, and I don't dislike it when it dries, but I just feel like it calms down a lot and just becomes kind of like a generally sweet, desserty type of scent. Um, but again, like nothing really pops or stands out about it. It's just kind of like a very generally sweet, if you like dessert scents, this will be very pleasing to you. There's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing super unique about it, I guess. And so I don't know. I I don't really think I need more of this because I have so much. If I didn't have any body care and I needed to get some, this is the scent that I would consider. But like I don't I don't need it, and I don't know that it's special enough for me to like really go buy more. Maybe if I have a free item coupon and nothing else to spend it on, you know. But it's definitely not bad. But sweet, kind of nondescript. Um, I don't know. So like I I kind of like it. I just don't think I need any more of it. But one that I did like enough to, you know, go nuts on is the Sweet Lemon Buttercup. So I love anything dessert lemon. Love it. Knew I would probably like this scent. I had a hope. I had a hope that it would be this, the Southern Lemon Chiffon. Uh, this was a soap and then it came out in this little cream. It's so awesome. So awesome. And they keep repackaging the soap. Uh, they repackaged it this Christmas as like lemon chiffon something or another. But they won't bring back the cream. If they ever do, I will buy buckets of it. Um, this is a really like tart lemon with like a little bit of like a like a whipped cream or a meringue with it. And it's so, so, so good. Um, they have... They have this soap, the lemon chiffon soap, that they repackage as various things. And then they also have the lemon buttercream soap. And the lemon buttercream soap is also repackaged sometimes. So it's like they have these two lemon desserty type of soaps that they uh, rotate in and out. And the lemon buttercup is repackaged right now on the shelves as something else. I have to check and look and see because I forget what the name of it is. But I did post about it on Instagram. Lovely Lemon Meringue. So Lovely Lemon Meringue that's out right now reminds me of the Lemon Buttercup Soap, not the Lemon Chiffon Soap. But this body care reminds me of the Lemon Buttercup or the Lovely Lemon Meringue that's out right now. If you like that soap, this body care very much reminds me of that. So with this, um, it kind of, it's definitely the strongest in the line. Are you growling? I think she heard a noise. I thought maybe she was snoring. She's making some kind of noise. She's being really good right now. But again, I feel like she's kind of bored, as I said in my last one. I'm going to take her outside after this. We're going to go for a walk. Um, you get a lot of lemon. There's a little something about it that kind of smells a little bit too much like cleaner lemon. And I think that about the lemon buttercream soap, too. But... You also get some dessertiness, which takes away from that cleaner. It's not the perfect lemon scent. It's pretty good. It's not perfect. This is the perfect lemon scent. Um, but it's very strong. If you like lemon cupcakes, lemon sponge cake, something like that, I feel like this really smells a lot like that or like a lemon poppy seed muffin. Definitely. Lemon poppy seed muffin all the way. And that's a great smell. So um, I'm digging the cream. I really, again, I wish I had it in the lotion. The creamy body wash. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Took care of that. Um, so like I said, wanted to try the creamy body wash. Haven't yet. Do I like it more than shower gel? A lot of people are really loving this. Even the sales associate was like, you're going to think this is amazing. Um, it's okay, but... Honestly, to me, it's not like that much different than the shower gel. Um, in the shower, you can tell the consistency of it is very different. It kind of feels like lotion. Um, I almost didn't like that. I felt like I couldn't get my shower puff clean. Like it was just slimy afterwards. Um, so it feels a little different on, but I haven't been able to notice. I mean, I've only used it twice now, but I haven't noticed any difference 
out of the shower, like past that point that it's made any kind of difference over the standard shower gel. Um, but it's a cute little package, but you know, it's much more expensive than the shower gel and you can't use free item coupons on it cause it's 1450. So I don't know that I'll be getting more creamy body wash over the shower gel in the future, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. The thing that I am not a fan of is the lip balm. So just wanted to try one because, I mean, I do love these little lip balms. I've got a drawer full of Walgreens Rebels right now. I mean, gosh, I, I have tons of these, tons of these everywhere, all over my house. I love the Walgreens and the CVS ones. They're really good. They're my favorite. I like them more than the name brand EOS, actually. Wanted to try BBW's version just because, you know, there it is. Now, in my store, they didn't have this in White Mocha Kiss. I don't know if they make it in that or not. They just had the other three. I actually might have bought one in White Mocha Kiss. I wouldn't mind having a Beach Night Summer Marshmallow Lip Balm. But I got the lemon one. It looks like this when you take off the lid. So there's a very a lot of surface area for one of these. But... I am not a fan. I think they're way overpriced at $7. And I paid five for this even after my coupon. Ooh, that's ridiculous. And I don't feel like the scent matches the body care that well. It's similar, but it's heavier on the cleaner. And there's something really tangy about it that kind of smells like raw, like, like lemonade powder mix before you mix it. But like a little too harsh, you know? And you, you lose all bakery in this. It's just the lemon note from the lemon butter, sweet lemon buttercup. I don't get any like cakiness or anything or muffinness or anything from the lip balm. So I'm not even a fan of how it smells. But I also think it's a little drying. I've noticed that after I put it on, like I have to put it on again or put more lip balm on again like a couple minutes later. I don't think it's doing a good job either. So I would not recommend these lip balms because they're overpriced. They don't really match the body care. At least this one didn't for me in smell. And I actually think they're drying my lips out a little bit more. I don't like the way that they feel that it feels on my lips. So big fail on the lip balm, although I do really like the scent. Wish it came in lotion, um, but this is the winner for me out of this collection. This one's okay, this one's a repackage. Don't really care about the floral one, not my thing. But those are my thoughts on the Tutti Dolce line and the candle price increases. Uh, let me know what you think of this line and uh, stay tuned for more. We've got the Coco Shea line coming out and we're starting to see new test lines in both body care and candles come out for summer. So far, it looks like a lot of repackages again, but uh, you know, stay tuned for more later. Follow me on Instagram in the meantime at Candles and Music. Say goodbye to River. I don't know how much longer she'll be here. Bye, Rivs. Say bye. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.